On March 17, 2025, the first test flight of the Superjet 100 passenger aircraft with the latest Russian PD-8 engines took place in Komsomolsk on Amur. The board was in the air for about 40 minutes, reached a speed of 500 km h and an altitude of up to 3,000 meters, confirming all the characteristics. Previously, this engine rose into the sky only as part of the IL-76 flying laboratory. Thus, March 17th can be considered the official wedding day of the new engine and the superjet, if expressed in the slang of aircraft manufacturers, to fully understand the importance of the moment. Let us briefly recall the difficult fate of the superjet, which became the first civilian large-scale aircraft developed in Russia after the collapse of the SSRR. In order to quickly bring it to international markets, it was decided to supply the novelty with SAM 146 engines of French-Russian production and other foreign components. This allowed us to quickly obtain all certificates and enter foreign markets. While he was never accepted there, one of the reasons is right. The problem of that engine, and specifically its hot part, which was produced by the French, turned out to require much more frequent overhaul. After 2014, difficulties began with the supply of imported components, and in 2022, the Europeans completely suspended the certificate. But back in 2019, the development of an updated aircraft began in which about 40 systems had to be replaced. Opponents, avionics, hydraulics, flight control system, power supply, air conditioning, fire protection, navigation and others. In fact, it was about the creation of a new product, because in the aircraft industry, the replacement of even one unit often entails the need for a complete redesign of new tests and long-term certification. That is why today, there is not a single country in the world that produces such aircraft entirely on its own. Even in Soviet times, we relied on a wide network of cooperations, including not only the Union republics, but also foreign states. However, now it was necessary to reassemble the superjet, and most importantly, to create a new engine for it, which is capable of only five countries in the world, including ours. And this is what it follows. Sometimes you have to hear that it takes a very long time to create Filter 8, but this is an absurd statement, because work started only in 2020, and it is not difficult to calculate that only five years passed until one flight, which is a record fast by world standards. And this despite the fact that not everything went smoothly, and the engine had to be finalized literally on the go. The high speed is explained, among other things, by the fact that the new engine used technologies and approaches from its older brother PD-14. Nevertheless, the result is still remarkable, especially taking into account the fact that our enterprises are implementing other complex projects in parallel. Tests of the PD-8 bring the start of mass production of the updated superjets closer, but here's what many are talking about. In this story, the engine will give two life to another aircraft B-200. Our trouble is to fly the world's only amphibious jet plane. In just 15 seconds, it is able to take on board 12 tons of water, its land counterpart during extinguishing, for example, forest fires have to return to the airfield each time to replenish tanks, while the amphibian is able to perform about 10 times as many fence discharge cycles, in the same time picking up water from rivers, lakes or seas. Every summer, 200B help fight fires across the country. They rarely go abroad. When last year the fiery apocalypse played out in California, we reminded the Americans that earlier for political reasons, they abandoned the contract for the purchase of 10 of our aircraft in the SSH, and there are no analogs of their own, and for extinguishing they use a dozen outdated Canadian turboprops, Canodia CL415, with two less payload. At the moment, we continue to produce new BE-200 at the Taganrog plant and execute an order for Algeria. It is high time to replenish our own aircraft fleet, but it was difficult due to the lack of engines. The fact is that B-200 was designed for engines of the D-436 family, 
developed by the Ukrainian company Ivchenko Progress and produced at the company Motorsic, although Russian factories in particular, the Ufa Motor Building Plant. Unity also participated in cooperation. A significant part of the components, including the gas generator, were produced by neighbors. After the break of communication, we got into a difficult situation, but the reserve of engines and spare parts saved us, which, however, are not endless. Fortunately, this week the air rose under an 8 and will install it not only on superjets, but also on Nabe 200, which will undoubtedly breathe life into Project 2. That's why it was so important for us to create this, a new engine and preferably as soon as possible. But what happens next? Two more experimental engines PD-8 will be transferred for flight tests in the coming days. Receipt of the type certificate is expected this autumn and serial production of the updated superjets next year at the production center in Komsomolsk on Amur is already in varying degrees of readiness. The first 22 cars. We hope to restart the project soon. We also do not forget about other expected events which are already undergoing tests of ground systems and preparing for test flights. One prototype of the MC-21 aircraft with a domestic engine and other systems and U-114-300 continuous certification flights, having already completed more than 20% of the program. Work continues to expand the production capacity of TU-214 aircraft. So there are still a lot of significant events ahead, and we will continue to tell you about them on our channel. By the way, while we were preparing this issue, it became known about the second flight of the Superjet with PD-8, during which he spent 0204 in the air, rising two and a half times higher. During the tests, the engines were switched off and started in the air, which is one of the important stages. We wish all participants in the process success and new achievements further to other technologies.